Hey, Mock Brick, can you hear me? Awesome guys, give me a minute. What I did here was new for me and it looks like I got it working for once. Yeah, Mock, it's just right now, this is uh, one of my various screens. This is just my uh, pause screen, starting shortly screen. i got about a dozen of these things I've been slowly making up. This gives me time to put up my green screen so you don't see uh, the hidden magic. Twitter. Well, that's definitely in the future, Mark. Um, new place, dedicated room, and a little bit of soundproofing, and putting the computer in another room so we don't hear the computer.
and one more minute and I'll be ready. I need to put a countdown timer. I was playing with that and I couldn't get it working on the screen. I can get it working on my screen but not for you guys. Something else I need to learn. Perfect. Let's see, where are we now? And Shazam! We are live. My camera's in the wrong spot, but too bad. Ooh. Yeah, I can't fix that now. So, hey guys, how's it going? Wow, nice mock. Enjoy your trip when you go. Alright, so this is the second Ossini set this weekend. The second I have, period. Depending on how this one goes, uh, we'll determine if I buy more from this company. The pistol was pretty good yesterday. Um, I had to tweak it like I do most sets. There's always something that bothers me or an improvement that can be made. And I did decide to put the stickers on the pistol yesterday, after all. But uh, what we've got here is, um, I think it's a 500 plus piece set. The assault rifle. Big sheet of stickers. Not a fan of the stickers, but I can see how uh, they add to the look of the final build. So I will probably put them on. And is there anything I'm missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Ah, uh, yes, my beverage. Which I forgot. The green cups are bad, but oh well. Too bad. Let's see what we get in the big bag here. One, two, three, four, five. A big bag, six, seven, eight, virtually eight. all of them black pieces. Oh, I'm going to keep that big bag. That's going to come in here or something. I clearly need to probably sort something. Actually, I did want to go this one online. And I think I fixed a lot of my issues with having the browser on one machine, but I do like having a backup. Let's me know what's happening in the real world. It's also connected to a different network than my streaming machine. This one's being cranky. And that's why we have two machines. Beep, 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 beep. Oh yeah, if I want to make something disappear, all I gotta do is put that, look at that, magic. <laughs> I'm loving green screen effect. Oof, slow, slow computer that one. Fast computer, slow computer. Um, I'm thinking, if I'm 
smart, I open these one at a time. So it's really Stuff not mixed across bags, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Cancel, slow. You are slow. What have I done? What have I done? Eight year old computer, one year old computer. Big difference in speed. Big difference. And the other one boots up in about five seconds straight. Well, I don't know what to think about that, considering I made mine from scratch, my logo, but that's okay. Whatevs. I'm still not even sure if I've actually watched Brick Attacked. I'm not even sure if I'm subscribed to him. He's not in my top five. Not that I can necessarily tell you my top five off the top of my head. Sort some stuff first. Make my life easier. Okay, question. Have I heard from the Lego Brick Tuber community? Um, home specifically, I talked to plenty of people. I don't think anyone's really noticed me, and that's okay. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm doing my own thing and growing my own old, own way. Plus, there's a lot of people who don't necessarily want to communicate with me because I'm not a Lego purist in the sense that I will only touch and build only Lego stuff. I'll never mix them, but uh, I absolutely will enjoy stuff that Lego doesn't make. And there's a lot of people with a stick up their ass, and that's okay. They're welcome to do whatever they want to do because it doesn't affect me and what I do doesn't affect them. That's pretty much the way I feel about it. Let's see. Just checking out the quality of the bricks and where the molds are and how they clean up when they get injected. This being only my second set from Ossini. I haven't made up my mind on what their overall quality really is yet. I also don't know how old these are. I mean these long pieces, because they ship in a bag, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, that doesn't look terribly straight to me, but under build conditions and other parts on it that is going to come straight, that's not an issue and I've seen the same with Lego. But Lego has the uh, benefit of shipping in a box that protects the pieces, of course. Well, I'm not too concerned about language. Probably should be, but I'm not. Yeah, these, uh, oh, 
what are you looking at here? Are you looking at these dollar store trays or my brick wall here? Um, let's see how quick I can fire this up. And will it be automatic or not? Probably not automatic. All right. So, oh, 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 come on. So my great, this is what my desk has in front of it. There's my uh, light and camera that's facing me. Whoop. A streamer. There we are. Backup computer. My mountain bike and my road bike. A uh, truck road bike. And my GT Aggressor mountain bike. Love that thing. And uh, I'm not going to show you everything around here, but as you can see. Lego pack to the ceiling, and actually there's another little overhead I produced just so I can see on my desk because it's actually quite dark. Now I'm going to turn that feed off. There. Oh. Um, yeah, these little ones down here, that's actually something else I got from the dollar store. I get these things uh, three high, and uh, the nice thing is you build them as high as you want. In the corner, I got them 21 bins high. Here I decided to make them my base because they're big. They're handy. I like them. Um... I'm always swapping out what goes in there depending on what I'm building or mocking. I'm thinking I should start doing some of my mocks as a live stream. But I, I don't know if I want to do that or if that's going to be productive for me. Um, I don't mind sharing the sets I build, but I haven't... Wow, that's weird. Um, I haven't decided if that's something I want to share or still keep that private. Um, I'm not, I don't usually worry too much about people's comments. So I don't think there's a real reason for me not to do it. But, uh, I'm considering it. I joined in on a couple of guys' live mock builds last night and I did enjoy that. I'm going to put these stickers somewhere safe for now. Let's move this. Definitely going to need another bin. I know I still got some space there. So I have a question for Mania. Why? What is it that's going on that was so that made this a good time for you? You had suggested this was an oh look at the printed tile. You had suggested that my timing was perfect this afternoon. Now see that's funny, that's one of the reasons I don't know if I want to do a mock live because I don't know if I want the um, the distraction or the input while I'm building because I mean some of my mocks I build them, I like them, I don't like them and I break them down eventually like everyone else does. And I don't know if I want that as I'm building. I, I've had no problem showing them off uh, after I built them. I've got about 
20 mocks in my library on YouTube. So I don't have any problems showing off what I create and letting people judge and like or hate on them. But I don't know if I want that input while I'm building. Um, something I should think about. Decisions, decisions. And it's still warm. Well, I shouldn't say warm, but it's still humid in Toronto. Uncomfortable. Rainy, windy, noisy. So I'm avoiding opening my balcony door to save you guys from the whoosh sound that you're going to get on the microphones. Let's see. Let me put these clips here. Oh, I guess I was wrong, Ma or Maniac. Must have been Mock when he came in. Probably said it was a perfect time. We all spent too much on Lego. Alright, so we got some gold crap. Might as well keep them together because I know they're all for the bullets. Okay, what the hell is that? That's a unique looking piece. And it says wheel. Huh. Let me put that there as an oddity for now. Let's see if it's actually relevant to this set. Lots of ones, so I will have to. I can keep them together and I'll sort through them as I go. Yeah, dismantling of sets. That's definitely a pain in the butt. And also another entry point for you to lose stuff too if you're not careful. Mm, I'm gonna put that in there just because I can. Leave technic stuff together. Clips. Clips. Uh, hmm. Let me put them there for now. Slopes. Okay. I got way too many black bits, so I'm going to have to be conservative with these bins, I think. I intend to do another live stream later, but I'm thinking that I want to do a poll, post it to my page and to some of the Lego groups and do a Lego set. And I haven't decided what I should put up against each other and let people decide. And I'm thinking you guys want to help me out with that. Take a look at my Snups archive and see what you think would be two good candidates to put up against each other. I don't want it lopsided. I want it to be 
I want it to be fairly competitive. I want it to be difficult. I mean, most of my poles go up and they're, they're almost 50-50 most of my poles, which makes it really close. Fortunately, everything I want to build. So it's not like I lose, but um, take a look at my snups, guys. And if you don't remember my snups, Where is my snaps? There we go. This one here. RM Brick B with the S there. Go to snaps.com, type in RM Brick B. Take a look at my backlog sets. It's not everything, but it's going to be the easiest stuff for me to um, for me to stick up in a pole. Here, switch back. Take care, Mock Brick. Enjoy your trip. Listen to your father. <laughs> Father's always right. Son of my gun. All right, I need to change one thing here. There we go. That's a little better. We should sing him a lullaby, help him sleep. <laughs> I should set up a Patreon. Anyone want to listen to me sing? Contribute on, on my Patreon. People might pay for me not to sing. I could also be a money maker. These are great pieces of double sided stud plates. Not sure how well that's coming through. Where's my camera these days? There we go. Loving that. Yeah. And do it on there. There. More little technic bits. I'm kind of keeping to the end. This is working out a little better. Open the bags one at a time. Still not the way I normally like to do it because I like to put certain elements together too in groups when I take my time. And I'm not trying to do anything fast for an audience. Ooh, the invisible cup. <laughs> that is so cool. I might have heard my sub chances. Does Lego make those double sided plates? I don't know. Um, I'm not positive. And the problem is, I've built so many things, and unfortunately, I have built so much Mega Blocks, and Mega Blocks, they've been using them for 10 years at least. So my head's kind of polluted with who makes what element now, or who came up with certain elements. Cause Tyco Blocks and then later Mega Blocks, those two companies, when they started doing their bricks, they were pumping out all kinds of stuff that LEGO wasn't. 
and it really blurred the lines. But they're a great element. So I, in my head, I'm not 100% sure. Like here's another one. So uh, double sided uh, two by two plate. That's awesome. I mean, they're great. So useful. I mean, we have other ways of getting around anyway without it. But what a life changer it is having studs on both sides of a plate. some of these like pieces together. I mean, personally, I wouldn't mix them together. Um, even with my mock building, I don't like to. If they end up in there, I'll usually pull them out and correct it. Now, here's another piece that's interesting. So it's here against the white, you can see it. So you can see all the way through it. So it's got no cap, no studs each way. And then you could take a studded brick there, and it's, that's another one. And a studded brick there. And now look what you got. You got two uh, females, two female ends. And that's three high now. Oh, God. And they're impossible to get apart. <laughs> They are. They're, you know, and again, that first time I saw that was with Mega Blocks. And I don't know if I've seen that with Lego. And if I have, I'm sorry. I'm clearly getting old. But anyone who builds mocks, like, the possibilities are just endless. You know, I've, I say it all the time. Lego might be the beginning of creativity but it's not the end there are so many incredible ideas out there both in uh, the design in brick elements and in the right hands these are all incredible tools oh look at that let me put that one there so I'm going to take these ones Yeah, that humidity is horrible and it's screwing with my head. I'll keep those there for now. Don't want to waste the space. Actually, I got there. Alright, let's open up another. I don't know if I'm going to use all of these in the act of build, but just so I can sort them, see what I got. Maybe condense them down to something more manageable. The most I ever had was 12 of these sorting trays on the go, but I didn't do that on my workstation. I did that on the kitchen table 16 feet behind me. And even that was brutal, and that was when I rebuilt the UCS Death Star that my daughter half completed with me and then she bailed and I decided I wanted to just rebuild it from scratch because that was kind of a sore spot in the family I held off on building it for so long until she could build it with me and then she didn't want to finish it and she kind of fell out of love with Lego and that's okay it happens Can't give everything a separate spot. I will have absolutely no room left if I do that. Yeah, alright, let's see, let's get some bricks.
these are pieces I hate. One one by one bricks that are like five or whatever studs high or bricks high. Hate them. Don't like them. They look great. I'm gonna keep that's an eight, six. Yeah, um, uh, the so this is a Duramax, two three dollars Canadian at the dollar stores, Dollarama, Dollar Trees. I find them everywhere, and I bought way too many. Um, well, for a long time I was keeping a lot of stuff that was on the wall in these because it was kind of handy, and then after a while I was like, no, that's just horrible. Because anytime I wanted to build something with a mock. I'm pulling them like this from uh, shelves and stuff, and it was just horrible. So uh, now I just use them as sorting trays for builds. And then uh, when they're done, they're done. I tuck them away. If I don't finish a build, I can close them up temporarily. And I'll tell you, it's not that they're a great investment, they're cheap. And the garbage right here, these hinges here. I don't know, after six months to a year, they break. Um, the little ends, they break off eventually. They still serve a purpose, but yeah, they're crud. I mean, there's a reason the dollar store sells them. They're garbage. But, you know, they serve my purpose pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put these all into one that out. I'm going to leave that out for now. Oh, I'd hate to guess how much toxic plastic we generate by buying Lego and non Lego. Oh, look, a wheel. All right. One, two, that's already four trays. We are approaching dangerous territory here. Yeah, and I'll tell you, in this here, this is my secret weapon. A tray from, you know, the top lid of a chocolate bar box, you know, chocolate bar, chocolate candies from, you know, Valentine's Day, Christmas, gift boxes, whatever. And, you know, I cleaned it out, and I just taped the edges, because this is like two years old now. This, I love it, because it's flexible. If you had to lean on it, you could. You're not going to hurt yourself. It's white, so virtually everything stands out, especially on my darker desk. And uh, this little ghetto box plus these things, love them. And of course, uh, I don't have it handy for some reason. My plastic cups, my plastic party cups. I can't reach the one that's behind the monitor. But uh, yeah, those are great for sorting lots. So you got big lots from garage sales, job lots, whatever. Those things are great. Those clear, and you got to get them clear. Don't get them colored. Don't save a buck by getting them colored. Get your 200 cups or whatever for a dollar. Get them clear. This way they don't uh, mess up your eyes while you're trying to sort. There's nothing worse than realizing you've been putting pieces into one color bin and they're not what you think they are. Now that's an interesting bit. You can see the profile against my face there, maybe. Some Interesting looking stuff. And I have no doubt there'll be a lot of these ones.
all I can hear is the wind and the rain. It is brutal out there. My wife is out shopping with my daughter. You got Dollaramas close to you, Maniac? Here in the GTA, they are everywhere. And that's not a bad thing. Oh, look at that. I screwed that up already. We should take bets on how long it'll take for me to screw up the build tonight or this afternoon. Last little baggy. Well, speaking of the devils, Hello. they're home. You uh, yes, I do. I'm doing magic. I'm drinking from an invisible cup. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Somehow he is refreshed. <laughs> Ooh, interesting bits. They look like wheels from old school Lego. That's a weird looking bit. I think I'll take that one out. YouTube's going to be witness to a murder, it sounds like, next door. My very loud neighbors. Do you need me to remove the green screen for a moment? No. Nope. You sure? I can. I can just switch off the one screen. I prepared. Okay. What? You're gonna have to stand up. Technic bits and crap here. Anything that didn't fit anywhere else. Alright, so that's everything. My nose is itchy. Uh -huh -huh. Ow. Oh, I need to think about this a little better. I had something to eat, yes. Pardon? I had something to eat, yes.
Put these somewhere. So I'm losing. Screwed up my camera. Oh, it's not perfect. Oh, that's going to be bad news. You know what? I think we're going to be okay without it. Turn it off. We'll move it out. Put the camera back. much later I'm assuming time to build and don't know where my parts are yet new bits. So we got two of those. by two brick because why I don't know there we go two by two brick and I need two of them and they smart enough to get the ones I need. Something. 
to step three. So far, it doesn't look like anything. All right, now I think I got two of these tall slopes. We need some ones, regular ones. One by one brick. Two by two by two high. Brick. One of those. And two of these pillar bricks. So one pillar brick. Another pillar brick. One by ones. Slope, slope. And the brick. Looks like another one. Tray by tray. Here they are. That's the problem when every single brick is black. They're all hard to see. Pretty lazy. They didn't even fill that. Dad, are you still hungry? Uh, it depends. What are you making? I'm making hot dogs. No. Macaroni and cheese. No. Mm -hmm. How many hot dogs do you want, Sarah? Um, two. I'll tell you what. I am putting something in there. Because I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I can put any color in there. I don't have to waste anything good. Ooh, let's see. What can I pull out? 
to quick fill something. Stupid that they went cheap and then fill that gap. Because all I gotta do is do that and it's already better. Yep, seeing it doesn't move. Well, that's first fix. Please don't burn stuff. I'm not burning anything. Something burning. One by eight. And did I just skip a step? I skipped a step because I'm dumb. Uh, I'll continue just getting those pieces while I can. Okay, so that's that step. storage yesterday. I can never remember where the slopes are. I know I got a whole bunch of them. I don't have these where I want these to be. That's my problem. from the looks of it.
Ow. Clutch is pretty good so far. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, that is hilarious. These don't fit. There's no way these fit. show. Oh, I was wrong. They do line up. You know we can hear you. familiar Yay. 
Grab those because those are wrong. I needed angled. So it should be like that. Two two by sixteens, three two by eights, one two, three inverted slope, two two by six.
looks like a taser now. regular one by one bricks. One by six. Two headlamp bricks. Two of them and two one by one round plates. angle brackets. popping off so I'm gonna leave them there. Put them on at the end. You got a rubber mallet? My wife? What? You got a rubber mallet? I don't know. I don't think so.
four by twelve. Does the little scale still work? I'm going to weigh this when I'm done. This thing is heavy already. Tens, two by twelve, and two more of those.
shout out. Well, I'm talking, you shout out. <laughs> <clears throat> tell you when you're done this thing is a weapon for sure solid oh my god the Technic pins that I hit so well. Pin. The bushing. Oh, there's the bushing. And I'm going to break two Technic hole. And... No, that's it. Here, Technic pin, wrong pin, wrong pin. So another pin. Yeah. Now let's hope this is better than the ones from yesterday. No, it's not better. Too loose. Too loose. That's a disappointment. I'll take that off for now. Should be sixteen. And I prefer to build them on here. Because it looks like it's easier to do it this way. solid build so far except for a few odds and ends where clutch isn't as good as I'd hoped it would be 
It's amazing on the bricks and the plates, though. Ooh. All right, that's not a big deal. I'll remember that later. Did I get that back? I did, I got it backwards. Should be like that. So here's my first mistake. the time for my first mistake. Hour 30 in. Definitely getting beefy. Getting beefy. That was supposed to go where? Behind there. Alright. For anyone keeping track, these are already supposed to be on here. They're a little looser than I would like. One uh, four by twelve, four by six. Four of these interesting bricks with no studs, and flat plate tile tile. And one by two. Cat go away. Oh boy, this is stiff. These bricks change the stud orientation from male to female. Ooh, continue. Oh, a rubber mallet would serve me well right now. I think this is like building a legitimate weapon. Definitely be able to defend my family with it. Solid. Very solid. Except for that. Huge point of weakness right there. Oh. They could have done better to maybe a technic piece running up and down. That could be a mod I could do later. Something running straight up the center. That's on there. So six slopes. And four of these slopes. Two of these slopes. Put that one back. Well, actually, I feel I need that one. And one, two of those. Alright, pretty easy. Can't mess this up. So, three tray.
Did I really mess that up? And I said I wouldn't mess it up. That's too funny. But I did. I did. And the clutch is so freaking strong. Like seriously, strong. Now I gotta try and get that off. Let's see. Oof. Didn't want to do that. But wanted some leeway here. on these amazing and I gotta take them all do don't I mm. <laughs> it is so strong that the Lego puller is not gonna be much help wow Ooh. that is something else I don't want to lift that up if I can help it. If I can help it. My geography teacher always said the greatest cause of failure was a failure to follow instructions, and he's right. Jaws of life. Well, let's see. If we do this. One, two, three. That gives me access to these. See, their bricks are amazing. Ugh, but you never get them off. It's too tight. Ugh. That is scary how strong that is. All right, All right take two. Let's see, we'll put that piece back on. Put that on. Then a, then a two, then a one, then three. Looks like a gun right there. That is crazy solid. Minus the flaw in the hilt, the handle. Uh, one by three, or two by three, 
to um, go away, you stupid animal. Go away, go away. It looks like one of those. Oh, I hate doing this. You push these together, you never get them apart. Definitely looking like something. It's coming along. Four. Four of those, and then I need two. Saw them earlier. Two of those. And some smooth stuff. Two, and I need two. So according to the manual, two and then four and four. I'll tell you, this is already chewing up my hand pretty good. But I'm already impressed with the uh, weight, and the stiffness of the build. Now this is something I don't like. I'm hanging bits off loosely. When they could have just as easily put something behind that. That's what I needed, but it's not. These are what I need. And then a and a brick. Regular brick. Kill someone with that right now. Another one. One by. I need a one brick. Where's the one bricks? There's not many of them. And I need a hole. I need a technical. I need two of them. Ten of these with the grills. And I just did something bad. There we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten.
Happy Easter this weekend to anyone celebrating. Where's that other pin? I'm sure that's going to be useless because they're Asini Technic pins seem to be garbage. Printed one. And what else did I need? 2 by 12. That's bigger than. That should be 2 by 12. And 2 of those pieces. Alright. So let's hope another piece connects that. One, two, three. Come on. There we go. gray piece I didn't know what it was and a two by two plate so this needs to come out and then that's on top in oh and that's going to push in there is it oh, it should there we go Tiles, tiles. 
one, and I'm going to assume that's a, a two, two small wedge slopes, two small wedge slopes, which should be by themselves. Oh, I was really hoping they were going to do something to keep them, keep that from falling off. I was a bit of a disappointment. Not bad though. And it's definitely full size if you consider my hands full size. Short pause. And we are back. Let's see. My invisible drink. Okay, if that's done. I'm on to step 37. Which is tile, there's one plate, one plate, two of these plates, one of those plates. Hey, cardboard replicas. Oh, I missed you.
All right, well, that's gotten bigger all of a sudden. So we got two of the two by sixteens. Half ass parts four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eight. Two more. So how exactly is that supposed to work? Try that again. Yeah, I'm not fond of the way they're doing this here. It seems to be a poor, poor way of doing it. It's giving the gun a nice shape, but I really worry about that end. I'll try and have faith that it gets better. I can improve it just by putting a whole bunch of studs in there. If I have to backtrack, I will. If I don't trust the build. It's also clear that it's not full size realistic. Hmm. 
What are they expecting to do? Put them underneath? Put them underneath. Cute. So we'll do that. We got that. Four more, wherever the hell they are. Hey, cardboard replicas, are you back? Why wouldn't they have me put that on before? Seems foolish. Alright, we'll put these cross members on. That should at least make it stronger. Two of them. And seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the rest of these lovely parts. And instructions. aren't looking terribly clear. Let me see if I can make heads or tails of it. There's one. Those. And I guess let's fill this end in here. Okay. So if I do that, two of these. I guess so that we can change the direction of the studs. Who's who's bugging? Oh buddy. Again, wow. I'm looking one, two, three. Second one inside. Do these out there on the outside. So these are the plates with studs on top and bottom. Presumably so we can change direction. Hmm. 
And this all the way across the top. Okay. To the two by sixteens. Last of the uh, angle bracket. Tiles, I need like eight of them. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more of these double ended parts. Two studs. So across the top, you're going to put to the forward edge. tiles and it creates a nice rifled look and underneath underneath what are we going to do Tara, yeah, come here. Did they jerk it? Yeah, and then some. Where did the other one go? You still live streaming? Yep. Building yet another weapon for anyone who wants to break into my house. A very, um... They'll be scared when they see this. <laughs> very effective Lego weapon. You kidding? I'll knock them out. I'll hit them in the head with it. Look at that. That's not even full yet, and that's solid. They're going to get a concussion when they come here. whole mess of these, like 12 of them. Twelve, good. A little worried I was missing some. One of those. Ten more of these. Tight. 
since we're just going to alternate the build again. Is he sick again? side. See, that's what I worry about when I push in. I might have to mod it and put a brick in there. We'll know in a second. I'll modify it if I have to. Spacing is on this. Is it every four? Yeah, looks like it's every four. And then we offset. We could do that one. So we got that, but you know, I'm convinced that's bad. See, if I push in, I'm not going to trust that. So, what can we do to fix that now? Before I get past the point and over. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. What can I hide in there? Some hideous brick I don't want to see ever. <sighs> All right, give me one second, guys. something to brace against. I am convinced this is a bad idea. Actually, not those. Those. Three 
high right now. And then if I put that on, what happens? Is three high too high? Three high is too high. Ooh, come on out. Don't want to break anything. So three high is too high. I do. Too high. Two plates. So that can be okay. In theory, that should give me all the support I need when I put this in. Problem solved. That's a lot better. That's about 90% better right there. I'll have to pull out stills of that fix later. That came out pretty good. Yeah, because just pushing this on now like this is tough. Even here, <laughs> it's so bad. It is so bad. Oh, there. So now you should push in one at a time, like a train track. Oh, yeah, that's solid now. Oh, we done some good modding there. Back a bit. And that worked out really good. Better than waiting to the end and then trying to mod it. Trust your instincts. Something's not going to work or isn't going to work well, fix it. One by eight. Too high slope. Too high brick. That's two by two. Round. Round two by two brick. my steps carefully here. I don't want to miss a step. Another slope. Eight of those wheel things. Four. Eight. Black axle. I think it's a black axle. Black axle. One two by two by two high. So, all of these together. These wheel hubs, four, five, six, did I get this right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, eight. Apparently I can't count. I could have done that. Don't bend, don't bend, don't bend. <sighs> I knew that 
would be a problem there. I push too hard. I push too hard. Shoot. test. Do these push in together at all? They do push in together. So I should fix this before I make this worse. There we go. One at a time. Easier. I got more axles if I have to, if these are too cheap or too warped. Let's, oh, Jesus Christ. Pushing through two is just too hard. There we go. Learn from our lessons. I think that could have been done better. That's relying totally on the clutch of that one part. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to do the buttstock. Alright. Guess I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, that's cool. So what did I screw up? So I totally missed the step somewhere. So that's 46. And 47 is this, plus three of these, plus what a short black. into this still feel short use the butt stock and that should go right on the back Bit. 
There it is on camera. Looking a little like a stormtrooper gun. Probably a weak point, although it looks fine right now. But I'm not going to attempt fate. Sometimes you look at the instructions and you go, what the hell are they thinking? You have to look at the next step sometimes to figure it out. Alright, that's 49. So, one of those, two of those. Now I need some clips. Two clips and one, two of those. So we're changing the orientation here, and we're putting the clips here. That is done. All right, now for tiles one, two, two more. Gray, gray, where are you? We're going to say, we're going to guess it's the little one. Oh, the one left over. Okay. I'm sorry. Two by two. Two of those. And two with the clip ends. Okay. should go through. Probably a good idea. Again, wee boy, wee boy, one stud, black tile, and something I'm not seeing. Oh, 
Now that is an interesting part of a build. Look at this. One wheel plus five, six, six. A silver rod. So I don't know how much to leave out. Not terribly clear on that. So I'm going to make an assumption that that's going to be good. <laughs> I put it down wrong. That was funny. And that, that will be good. And get this straight. There we go. The last five of these wheels. Four, five, three of these. Reason to be nervous, right? At what point am I expected to put that rod in there? That makes sense. I think it would have been nice if it was sticking out there, but... Yeah. Oh! Nice and strong. It's always going to feel a little bent to me, though. Okay, so that is good. This is supposed to go on here now. For a chain loop, I guess. Belt loop. Bandolier. Strap. Strap. That's the word I'm looking for. Strap. It's high to me. But maybe not. What can we see here? No, that should be dead on. It's making full contact there. That should be correct. So we're almost there. Bang bang, pew 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 pew, pew it deep on. Wow, that thing is huge, huge. It's too bad they couldn't replicate the uh, viewfinder better. That's an easy mod I think I could do. 
Okay, so if we've got that going on. Oh, no way. Oh, look, I gotta show this to you guys. They're gonna commit a sin here. Stud on this side, not there. Wow. <laughs> what? And then I'm gonna be expected to put a sticker on that. Oh boy, decision time, decision time. And there's our fragile. Yeah, see, that could be done better. Okay, well, we'll just be careful. Uh, we're working with it. Okay, we got that on. So now we're looking for... Let's see how bad this is. Two, three, four, five, six, five. That's six. That's six there. Probably you guys can see it. Five of the one point one by threes. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I guess it's alternating each way. Wow, that is a brave building technique. I've done it. But I wouldn't think anyone, oh god, selling a set would try this. <laughs> Your bricks actually got to go together for it to work, guys. Ooh, wow. Wow. So, I don't know if you've seen that. You know, I don't know if I would try it with Lego, but with this stuff being so tight. Oh, wow. You just alternate each way all the way up. So it's one boy, six. Oh. But they achieve what looks like that perfect angle. So far. I was wondering how they pulled that off. When I looked at the pictures, when I was ordering it, I just assumed it was some stupid custom part, some one-off they did. Wow. I can't believe they did that. They shocked me. They shocked me. I can see that butt stock is going to be a problem, but let's see. I need a one by six. Uh, wrong. I need a tile, 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 and a tile. Nope, a tile. So we're at this point. I need to show my daughter this. Tara, yeah. come here for a sec. You gotta see what these guys made me do. What did I do? Oh, cool. And that's for the gun? Well, yeah, it's for the, the, the cartridge, you see. Oh. 
that's how they achieve the curve. The, the curve. See, I couldn't tell from the photo how they pulled that off. Mm -hmm. And the sticker, the stickers hide the sin. Because mm -hmm. you can. Lego would never do that. Nope. <laughs> Lego would never do that. They never. They would call that an illegal building technique. Those are under pressure. They could explode. I don't know. <laughs> you can't believe it. I mean, most of the parts are super tight. Super, super tight. But, um, oh, they didn't have me put it on yet? Oh, no, they do. That looks super bright. Oh, oh, oh look at right. me. You can see through my arm. <laughs> well, yeah, because you, you, you're probably exuding some greenness. Am you, I you're, an alien? You're a little bit alien. Ah. Uh. But, um, look at that. There we go. Uh. Oh. Wow, eh? I mean, that's more or less the build. Everything else is the extras. Where's the trigger? I don't think you put one in this. Oh, no. Uh, oh, it's funny. Did you mess up? God, would that be funny? If <laughs> Get. I skipped a whole step. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever. It can go in. So let's see here. We'll go back. I'm guessing it's smaller than realistic. But look at that beast. What a beast. Oh, and again with that stupid piece. I wonder. Mm. Not seeing it right now, but yeah. Why wouldn't they have to use bricks there? That seems odd. Wow, that is something else. I don't even know where to put it down. That's just too freaking big. I don't want to move it off screen. Tell you what I need to do. I'm just gonna clean up and reduce, and then I don't need this crap. Okay, that's one down. here for now. That's two down. So we definitely don't want to cover up what's left on this build. But yeah, she had a good point. I missed the trigger. So I need to go back and fix that or fix that at the end. Invisible drink. Ooh, tastes like crap at this point. These are the parts I still need to put on, which now includes Zik Trigger. And now I'm actually going to go back and. Here, yeah, let's put that there. Now I know where I was. So, where is the trigger? Where did I mess up? the trigger assembly. So one, one or two, and one of those, and one of those, and where's the last one? Come on. 
Okay. So let's see here. Got that like that. It was right under something else of importance. Go figure. Fortunately, very easy fix. Thank you to my daughter Tara. see the trigger now. So afraid for those pieces. Glue them, not glue them. Sticker them, not sticker them. Six and two of those. I need two of those. One, two, three, four. Six. Okay, and the other one by ten like that. Ugh. That seems a little stupid. There we go. That makes a little more sense. Okay, so we got this, we got this, and now I need two, I need four of these, closing in on the end here, four, two bricks, so, 
we have two Odd pieces. Okay, not those ones, but these ones. What? What did they have us do here? Seems a little odd. And I want to see these go here. I won't know if they're in the right spot until I build the next section. Because the diagrams to me don't seem to be 100% clear. Okay. Always feels good when you're near the end. Two, two, one, two. So if I've done this right, this will be self-supporting. That's a little weird. Not exactly where. Expect that. So you move it one set in. So if I do this right, there's the stand for it. Very cool, very, very cool. And then I'm supposed to build the bullets and then everything. And all the other black parts are extra crap. These guys are funny. They give you extra bricks and you don't do anything with them. The extra bricks are all showing here. On the front of the manual, all those black pieces are showing there in these different positions. I just got to build the bullets. I got three shells. Oh, and I got to put on the loose bits. So, and the stickers, if I so choose, which they don't show you anywhere in the manual. You got to figure that out from here.
but I don't think I'll put them on on the stream. I've got some pictures to take. So I'm going to put this one stud here for now. Did I not? I did not get. Are they already on here? They're already on there. How weird is that? Really? How weird is that? I almost flipped out because I thought the parts weren't there, but they were there. They are just put together out of order. Alright, so we got three shells. A whole bunch of extra bits that we didn't use and are not required for the build. Nothing wrong with the parts. This stuff all seems to work pretty good. Got the shells. We do have this stuff though. So, finish the build. And put that one on there. Is that where the safety goes? On an M16, anyone know? And I have this little bit that's supposed to go on here. That'll be the first thing that gets lost. This is pretty horrible. The slides, let's see, slides right off. And I had more or less the same problem with the other Asuni. So it's these like Technic bushings. They are too loose. Because the pin was actually okay on the other one. So that is the and I'm not gonna do the stickers right now. There's the stickers. Which gives you stickers for the cartridge, the hilt, one or two other areas. the shells. It would have been really nice if they could have put something in the chamber there. Again, that's another mock opportunity maybe. And just look at that. Here, this angle, you can see what they did there. Both nice and scary. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Lego would not do that. Thanks for joining me while I built this. Beautiful, and it is beautiful. Someone can let me know in the comments below if this is anything close to. That can't be. That can't be realistic. Size looks small. Still very cool though. Really good weight. Very solid, except for butt stock here. I wouldn't bend that too much. The hilt, um, definitely one of the weaker points. Very strong. Now very strong after my fix. This could use some improvement. It's fine now, but
No, that thing is very nice. That's going to make a very nice display piece, I think. Thanks for joining me, guys. Check out my other live streams, maybe later today or tomorrow. All right, peace. I'm going to log out now. And...